start the level two mindfulness meditation. Lying or sitting in a comfortable position. Find out the most comfortable position of your body. Adjust and align the parts of the body where your mind knows and discovers the discomfort, unease. And if there is no unease, continue. Nothing doing. It is okay. That is the way we move into this meditation. So there is no discomfort at all. Scan the body, become aware of the entire body and now comes, maintain that awareness of the body top to the bottom and bottom to the top of the head. Casually you are aware. Casually you are looking the body from the top of the head to the toes, from the toes to the top of the head. What's going to happen in the field of your awareness? Uh, you experience comfort, good, and that zone of comfort is nothing but emptiness. But still, sometime when you're moving your mind on the body with simple awareness, naturally, you may experience there are some sensations in some parts of the body, but while returning, again, the more, next time when you become aware, you discover that discomfort disappeared. You have to simply know it, knowing living by knowing, not by the information from the past. Being comfortable. The moment you are comfortable, there may be a conscious experience of the rest and relaxation what is generally known in the medical community as a relaxation response. When you do nothing and you are comfortable and you are aware of your comfort, there is a rest and relaxation, which I commonly say it is conscious rest and relaxation. Conscious experience of knowing mind has contents that are moving on the surface, but rest and relaxation is there and continues. I am fully aware that we, and you are also aware that we both are, present in the studio. Some sense of emptiness we both could experience. We are aware of it. Be carefree. Being carefree has to do with the contents of the mind. In that state of being comfortable, simply remain aware and perceive that the thoughts are coming and going. We just heard the noise coming from outside. Now it has gone. Exactly the same way. The thought appears and disappears. 
become aware that the thoughts are coming for going only. They do not stay in the mind if there is no attachment, if there is no analysis, if there is no intent, if the consciousness does not draw its attention to the thought, it doesn't stay. And that consciousness at present coming from the habitual mind, memory, animal mind, unconsciousness, subconsciousness. By default it comes. What we are doing, we are simply knowing, we are aware. Simply remain aware of the thoughts, feelings, sensations, as if they appear and disappear like waves in the ocean. It is a challenge not to do anything, remain indifferent to what comes to the mind. And that is the level of educating yourself in meditation. More or less the similar way I also do it in the night. Now being casual. What is the meaning of casual? Being natural. It means you are okay at this time. If the thought comes or goes, appears or disappears, a kind of indifference without any effort at all. In that state, the conscious mind knows that we are going deep within ourselves. It is a natural moving without any intention. It neither chases any thought that comes to the mind, nor creates any thought at present, and it also, conscious awareness also, does not think of anything. Yes, the thoughts are coming. Okay, the traffic, let it come and go. And now consciously experience the rest and relaxation. Become aware of the sensation, the space and the stillness. The mind picks up something on the objective side to confirm that, yes, I have this experience. And that is why we are using space all around the body, the sensation and the stillness. Conscious experience of the mind outside with the space sensation and the stillness what about the inside? Just look inside. The state of doing nothing. So in that vast ocean of the meditative state, the mind picks up what it knows. What it knows? It knows sleep. It knows thinking. It knows recalling the memory from the past, 
whatever it knows it wants to move there. <coughs> Gradually, we progress. Doing nothing, the state of doing nothing. And the awareness of the breath now. I'm skipping one step today and adding one. We will return to that step. Awareness of the breath. Become aware of the moving breath. Become aware of the sensation of the breath when it goes in and comes out. You know consciously the breath is going in and coming out. If I see the conscious mind knows the breath is going in and out, by the sensations you experience inside the nose when it goes in when it comes out and you are also aware that you are not doing anything means there is no change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath at all. There is no change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath. Feeling the sensation and becoming aware of the moving breath. The breath in that state of being comfortable, carefree and casual. When the physical is totally relaxed and calm, Not only it is easy to be aware of the breath, but it is also easy and effortless state where the rate and the rhythm do not change. In that state of being comfortable, carefree and casual in that state of the space sensation and the stillness we are aware of the experience of rest and relaxation And we also experience some kind of fainted awareness of emptiness. Breath is going in, you feel the sensation. Coming out, you feel the sensation. There is no change. And we may become aware that it is happening in the vast space. when you are driving <clears throat> you pay habitual attention to the paddle brake steering on the other hand your mind is fully aware of all around you what's moving on 
aware of the vehicle on the rear, on the front, on the different lanes, and the shape and the size of the car. It's, it's again, another level of awareness. You are aware of the breath going in and out, feeling the sensation, feeling the sensation and no change in the rate and the rhythm of the breath in that state. Do you become aware of the vast space in which this movement of the breath is taking place? This is an educating the mind, educating the conditioned mind about the right perception, wisdom, and awakening. Those three states are always there. We may experience some emptiness. We may become aware of the vast, infinite space in which the movement of the breath, feeling of the sensation, takes place. And still you are in the state of doing nothing. Awareness of the present. Look at this. <coughs> Look at this awareness. In the vast awareness like an ocean in which the movement of the breath is taking place in which the movement of the breath is taking place The mind can only point out what is to be done, but what exists when you become aware, you, your mind moves into the deeper layers of your consciousness. Not by thinking, not by information, but knowing by living here and now. <clears throat> I'm guiding you via two. You are listening and moving into meditation and still I'm aware of the space in that studio the light, you and me, all and everything, all inclusive. Awareness.
today's practice is with reference to what exists, not what we achieve, not what we are doing for the sake of doing. For the sake of doing, we are aware of the breath going in and out, feeling the sensation, no change. But now we are becoming aware of what exists. The, the infinite space, emptiness. And the mind drops into sleep, no doubt. The mind knows only the sleeping state it knows the unconscious, subconscious, habitual state. It is okay. We need not to hold back. We need not to focus. Now we move to the next step, awareness of the breath, moving in and out. No change, feeling the sensation of the breath. Count, start counting the breath from 1 to 25. When the breath goes and you feel the sensation in 1, breath comes out, you feel the sensation out when you simply drop it. We're not saying it just casually you drop in your awareness. It is like sailing a boat in the vast ocean. There is an exclusive attention and awareness on sailing the boat. But we are also aware of the vast ocean all around us as if we are in the middle of the ocean. Look at this metaphor. You're counting the breath. And mind moves what it knows, either into the sleep, subconscious, instinct, thought, what it knows. One option while counting, you may awaken to the vast space all around, a sense of emptiness, and as if the counting of the breath is making the mind empty. It is the just the other way. <clears throat> yes, we should remain aware if we make the mistake we reset and start the counting again from one as if it is an opportunity if we complete the counting 25 we do nothing and we drop into that ocean of the consciousness about the sleeping, waking and the dream states.
it is okay as we have understood the sleeping consciousness is down in the bottom of an ocean of the fourth state it is fallen consciousness and that is why we are here together you need a live teacher who picks up the thread of your unconsciousness helps you to return it doesn't take even a fraction of a millisecond to return to the conscious awareness counting begins and we awaken to the vast space We are aware of the breath going in and out, feeling the sensation of the breath, no change, and counting the breath. Counting from 1 to 25, and if you complete it, do nothing. You simply enter into the vast, infinite awareness. Yes, when we are counting, we get carried away by either a thought, even in the waking state, and we forget the counting, we fall into unconsciousness. It is also okay. And that's why I'm here. I point you out. You become aware. And begin the counting again. Counting expands. Counting expands the mind further. Counting is done to maintain awareness to prevent falling into unconsciousness. That is only the role of this counting.
we are simultaneously aware of being comfortable, carefree and casual. We are also aware of the space, the sensation and the stillness. We are also aware of the breath going in and out, feeling the sensation and counting of the breath. We are also aware of all the three states of the consciousness is present in the vast space, as if the mind is looking behind itself and it instantly awakens to the vast space. In this stage, we refer this as emptiness. We experience that emptiness of comes and goes. Content appear and disappear as if the mind is emptying itself. Why? as if you're sailing a boat in the ocean and you're leaving everything behind. That is what the counting does. You awaken to something within that does not change. Educating the conditioned mind of what? the right perception and awareness that leads to the wisdom and awakening to what is behind and above the mind. Counting is simply a reference point now as we progress we consciously awaken that the counting is not an effort. It is a reference point that keeps us awake and in that wakefulness We become aware of the unconscious sleep too. We become aware of the subconscious movement. And we become aware of the vast space in which everything is happening. In which you experience the space, the sensation and the stillness in the body you experience being comfortable, carefree and casual. You experience the awareness of the breath going in and out, feeling the sensation and the counting. We 
when the awareness returns, you recall, oh, it was a momentary sleep. journey we start on the beach we start sailing in the ocean we move inside deep inside the ocean the time comes we can't make out whether where is the beach as if we are deep inside the center of the ocean from there what we see all around the water the infinite space when we talk of the emptiness it is not created it is there In the center of the ocean, we look all around. We see nothing but an awareness transcending the sleep, subconscious, habitual thinking pattern, dream phase. Here comes some vision and the colors, they flash. And they are still the symbolic expression of the different states. Do nothing, remain as you are. Just remain as you are in that state. Emptiness attracts. The existence. Sarve bhavantu sukhina. Let everyone be happy. While returning. From now we keep that aspiration and the intent. Sarve santu niramaya Let everyone be healthy. Sarve bhadrani pasyantu Let everyone be blessed. You see the point? We don't talk about any god or goddesses release and we simply say if there is an existence and if there is a blessing let everyone be blessed and that clears the mind it doesn't bring in what it has learned from the society from the culture from the release it moves into compassion let none suffer from any misery in this world. Another way of compassion, gratitude and the blessing. Om Shanti 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 Take your time. We are not in a hurry. Check something inside. 
If inside says you that you can return, yes. If it says no, if it wants to remain in the same state, remain in the same state, wait. You will experience how something within, deeper within of which we are not aware, becomes the mind, recalls the intent, then moves the mind on the palms. I'm just giving the instruction. If the mind is still not ready, don't do it. When it is ready, then only you can place both your palms and your eyes. And then only you return. Bring your hands down and now your experiences.